this course, we have given you a brief understanding of what is culture and how to distinguish culture and what is communication and how to communicate. What if we didn't cover something that you really wanted to learn? This is where your mouth really comes into play. Ask questions. In the context that you will be assigned, ask questions. Well, what does this mean? Why is it like this? Or how do you do it that way? The best way to learn is to ask. Now, who do you ask? First, you could ask the locals. The locals will give you a lot of information, like how to take public transportation, why they light incense at the shrine, what they like to do on the holidays. There's uh, something that I like to call mother duck. Um, when a baby duck hatches from its egg, it imprints on the first thing it sees, usually the mother duck. The duckling will follow the mother duck everywhere. And the mother duck teaches the duckling how to do everything, how to swim, how to eat, how to cross the street. When we first enter culture, as you may have heard, you go through something called culture shock. And the first stage of culture shock is the honeymoon phase. During the honeymoon phase, you are a baby duck. The first people you meet will impact the rest of your stay. I have noticed that missionaries that stick with other missionaries always have a more difficult time immersing into the culture. I encourage you to have a local be your mother duck. Let a local teach you how to get around, where to lie, what to say. Not to say to never ever talk with it or hang out with other foreigners, but during those first weeks, it is a critical time in your cultural immersion and communication journey. And having a local guide will not only benefit your understanding of the context, but will also build your rapport and your trust. However, sometimes when you are in something your whole life, it's hard to understand what it's really like. When Terence was teaching me his dialect and culture, I would always ask questions and he couldn't answer them. He would just say, oh, it's just the way I grew up. And I would get so frustrated <laughs> with him because I really wanted to understand why. Why is it like this? But Terence didn't know why. It just was for him. That's why you should ask foreigners. Ask foreigners who have been in the country for a while and ask for their advice. They can see things on the outside that those on the inside cannot. There is a Chinese proverb that says, if you want to know about water, don't ask the fish. If there was someone who used to be assigned to your area, ask for their advice. They are kind of like your cheat sheet. Ask them if you could talk to yourself at the beginning of your journey, what would you say? Or what do you wish you knew what you know now? Seeking out these wisdoms will help prevent a lot of heartache and frustrations. Before you even go to a new assignment, you can still ask questions. Go on the internet, the library, talk to immigrants from that place of assignment. Look at a map. Sometimes I even go on Instagram and TikTok just to see what life is like in a place before I even go. There are tons of ways to do research. All you need to do is look, listen, and ask. I have met way too many people who have thought, well, I know this country, so moving to a new village is going to be easy. You know, I don't need help. Or I already read a hundred books and I've went to dozens of seminars and workshops about this. So, you know, I'm pretty much an expert. Oh, <sighs> don't be that person. There is always something new to learn and research is not nearly as heavy as experience. Do not let your pride get in the way of asking for help, for advice, for guidance. It's like learning how to drive a car. You can read the manual. You can research on YouTube on how to do it. You can play uh, simulation games at your local arcade, 
But until you're actually sitting behind the wheel, you do not know how to drive a car. And even if you can go around, it's different. The reality is, is that you are driving with other cars, with traffic and rules and systems and certain etiquette that you just can't learn from a book. You can't build reflexes from a book. You need a person beside you to guide you as you learn. That person can be a local and or a foreigner. They will pass on their experience onto you to keep you safe and to get you to go where you need to go.